doing good, and that was the fourth day. The fourth day before he made sun, moon, and stars, and you had a nerve to talk 24 hours to me. You are the most dumb scientist I've ever seen. You are scientifically smarter than a dumb mother who just, I'm just going to tell you, just don't even make no sense. I'm on day three, and I just made sun, moon, and stars, and you want to actually use the sun, moon, and stars to talk to me about the first three days. God do what he want to do. See, the days weren't over to God say, and it was good. You see, every time the day would end prior to the sun and moon being started, he just said, and God said it was good, and then that was evening, and then that was morning. See, it didn't take nothing, but the days was measured when God got done doing what he got done doing, then that was the end of the day. See, when God get done doing what he do, he on his days, not ours. Like he had a Rolex. Ain't no ticking. What are you going to measure the Rolex off of? What, what is the sun and the moon that we use to calculate this time and make these old Egyptian sundials that eventually become clocks? Where is he going to get it if there is no sun, moon, or stars? Think about it, people. There was no sun, moon, or stars to the third day. So how are you going to put 24 hours on God? Slap your scientist, your teacher in her. Yo, professor just smack him with the book. Smack, move, I can't move my hand. Mack, 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 mack. Woo! Just. <laughs> just give him a little five marshal bill on. Uh, Alright, so. We're on day four. We got, we got sun, moon, and stars now, people. We got sun, moon, and stars. We got an art atmosphere, so we know we ain't flat. We uh, and for you people who don't believe global warming exists, look what was here before. Light and darkness get separated by waters. You don't think global warming exists? You don't think if you play with them waters above and below and put pollution in between them and there's not enough sky and air, and you ain't gonna mess with them? Bless your heart, bless your heart. So we got atmosphere, we got sun, moon, and stars. But think about it, people. Atmosphere, water, all this stuff is relative to each other. It's just like your brain and your body. It could be bigger or it could be better. It could be better or it could be polluted. You make the choice. We make the choice. Stop acting like the earth just running off a never-ending cycle of unsupplyable resources it come from to go back to and if we don't put nothing back to we ain't got nothing to go to we're going to eventually have to get that straight people uh let's run this picture again in the film of the sky you see above and more that shows you right there it come from to go back to back to come from uh all right so we're on page four we got, you know, he done made sun, moon, and stars. So guess what? Guess what's next, people? And God said, let the water bring forth abundantly moving creatures. Now, why didn't he say bring forth cows, moons, and lions, and tigers, oh my? Why did he not say that? He said moving creatures. Why don't they have a name? Sound like dinosaurs to me. See, man named dinosaurs, the Plegosaurus and the Tyrannosaurus. We didn't be made up these names. It's our man-made name. God didn't give them. He just called them creatures. I don't know if God intended on them to have names. Maybe that's why they didn't have brains and families and write down history because he didn't intend on them to be nothing but fossil fuel. He had to make a thing that would eventually fall into the dirt to make fossil fuels for us later on. He is preparing it, but instead of him just putting oil in the ground, he can't just put oil in the ground. The oil had to come from somewhere. So he made moving creatures, dinosaurs. So now we are in a paleotory, whatever that, 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 the dinosaur era. We're in the dinosaur era right now. We Jurassic right now. So we Jurassic right now, and we got moving creatures on day four. Now remember, he just made sun and moon. So now they are living in ecosystems. 
Because the sun and moon, there's water and land and creeping creatures, moving creatures. And then you put fowl in there. So we got pterodactyls. He didn't say birds, he said fowl. He didn't even say the pterodactyls. You know, they say, you know, now look, they say the birds came first or they came out of the water first. But he said, look, right there, I tell you, there was the dinosaurs there. So they were on the ground first. He put moving creatures. But he didn't say, well, he didn't say that was on the ground. I take that back. I, I, I misspoke myself. He just said there's creatures moving. He didn't say it was on the ground. So that sounds like creatures moving, organisms. Little stuff in the water just forming. Little life moving. Just doing this thing in the water. Life is moving. Life is moving. Then all of a sudden, pop, pop, one, one, hit the air. Then you crawl off the land, hit the air. Five, in the air. They say birds go back far, farther than just about anything. Uh, you check your, 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 your scientists, they tell you birds, prehistorically, they go back far. And they were above the earth, you know, at open in the filament. So these birds flying high and all in there. Pterodactyls. Dinosaurs, they're creatures, they got no names, they're foul. And God created great whales. Now, before they was creatures, now they got a name, it's a whale. Actual name, a whale. Wait a minute. So, where scientists say we came from creatures that came out of water, well, we was creatures, just creatures moving. If it's not our land, they flying. And then there was a whale. Oh, that's an actual animal. It's not just a creature. And, and, and living creatures that move. So he made other living creatures. It's not like whales was here with dinosaurs. And, char and, and, and birds was here with dinosaurs. And if you look at the pictures of dinosaurs, they'll show you whales and birds and pterodactyls and all that old stuff flying around with the dinosaurs. Which the waters brought forth abundantly. Look at a whole bunch of them. That's where we get all the oil from. And after their kind, hold on. After their kind. So look, there's only two kinds now, people. Light and darkness. He said after their kind. So it seems like dinosaurs might have been dark. Dark like crude oil. Darkness. Growing underground. Where the darkness is. It is now that he said made, listen to that people. Now he made the vegetables and the fruits after his kind. But he made these creatures after their kind. Who is there? There are the creatures, the darkness, the dinosaurs, the devils, the ones that are eventually going to be underground. And every weed fowl after his kind. Now, the birds, eagles, we are now after his kind. We fly high. Angels, birds, fowl, angels. First. Think about it, people. Who was first? The fowl. It's not like angels. Turn it back to us. They've been flying around with dinosaurs and stuff. And every wing filed after his kind. These angels made after his kind, but they got a choice. They made after his kind, but they got a choice. These angels, birds, pterodactyls, dinosaurs after their kind. And God saw it was good. And God blessed them saying, be fruitful, multiply, fill the waters and the seas and let the fowl multiply in the earth. He said be fruitful and multiply in the water so they still on the ground. Ain't nobody on the ground. I mean they still in the water. Ain't nobody on the ground yet. But he said let the fowl multiply in the earth. The fowl is multiplied. Now what does God call earth? Not the planet, but the dirt. Let the fowl multiply in the dirt. So now, somehow, the fowl starts to multiply into the earth. And it was evening, in the morning, the fifth day. And then God said, let the earth bring forth living creature after his kind. Now you notice right before his kind came, the fowl went and multiplied in the earth. See, I got evolution broke down. The fowl just multiplied into the earth. 
You want to know who did it? Because God did it. I ain't no we don't, we don't know why they foul. Because God did it. God multiplied the foul into the earth. And then while he did that, he brought forth a creature after his kind. Because he made some after their kind. I'm going to make them after my, after my kind. I made some after my likeness. Not yet. After my kind. My likeness about to come. All right. So after his kind, they made cattle and creeping things. And the beast of the earth after his kind. Now, why did he say the beast of the earth? Listen to what he said. The beast of the earth. The beast of the dirt. The beast that walked the earth. Who wooed the dirt. That sounds like homo sapien man. Maybe not quite man. Because he didn't say man. He said a beast. But he also said he was walking. Because he on earth. And he after his kind. So he kind of looked like him. But he ain't in his likeness yet. So it sounds like a beast looking man, almost not quite man looking, because it's not in his likeness yet. And God said, make, and God made the beast on earth after his kind, and the cattle after his kind, and every creeper thing upon the earth after his kind. So now everything on the ground he made after his kind. Listen to what he said. And that water, their kind. That's why you but to stay out the water. I won't catch me deep sea fishing. I'm going to stay on the water with my kind. They kind out there. Uh, so, uh, God saw it was good. And God said, let us make man in our image. My homeboy asked me, who is our? What you mean, who is our? He just made cattle and all these other things in, in my kind. But we know there's spirits there because we know there's angels and he made a place for the darkness. But he wanted to make it in our image because now he has a team of light warriors and angels. And he will make it in our image because our image is light and man. So we made it in our image after our likeness. See, people, see, three things happen now. After his kind, in our image, and after our likeness. The difference between man and all other animals on this earth. We're not just after his kind, we're also in his image and his likeness. We have just been given not only free will, but we were given a brain. We were given knowledge. We were given the ability to think. We got something different than instinct. Just instinct capabilities. We, man was just given holidays and birthdays and knowledge of self. That's what we just got. God has that knowledge of self and knowing where and how if you seek. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and all other creepy things that creep on earth. And so God created man in his own image. And in the image of God created him, male, and female created he them. Them. So... From Big Bang to man, right here to Adam, right up to Adam and Eve, we just broke that thing down. Six days. So, first day, we got bang, that's your Big Bang, let that be light. A couple days go by, we on day four, God creates moon and stars, that's the creation of stars. You can see that right here. Then he creates man, he creates uh, creatures, is our paleontology and all our prehistoric eras, not in one 24 hour periods, but billions and billions of years, laying the pathway for man to be living the way we live today. And then we get to the fifth day, and God creates. Uh, fowl, 
and, 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 and creatures multiply and so now we go out of the prehistoric era we deal with today is God has evolved them through evolution and, 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 and going through uh, meteors hitting the earth and, and all these things and changing the earth with all these things that he's put into play way in the beginning of time and now we find ourselves right before man starts to show up and then God comes down here and some dust and man shows up where before we were just kind of, what they say, beast, walking, not dominion, not knowledge of self. Then God came down here and said, Adam and y'all, go ahead, be fruitful and multiply. And that was the Big Bang Theory, people. I love this, this series. I, I think it's a good one. It's a good meeting one. I encourage people to, to dive into it yourself, man. Think about it. Six days. Not six days as in six 24-hour periods, but six God days. We may, we may be still in that seventh day right now while he resting. People say God on vacation, why God? Maybe he resting. Maybe we still in that seventh day. Who's to know? They say man don't know. I don't know and you don't know. But to then, we sure we're going to eat, people. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good night. Just been his speaks with Green Rock. It's been a pleasure. Catch y'all next time. Peace.